Well, welcome back. We are learning a lot more about how prosecutors decided to essentially drop the case against actor Jesse Smollett. He had been charged in connection with a fake hate crime, and now prosecutors released thousands of documents related to their decision-making. Chicago-based attorney, Northwestern adjunct law professor Andrew Stoltman joining us now. A big picture, counselor. Don't you wish uh, all of your clients got the Jesse Smollett treating from uh, the Chicago prosecutor's office? I would love it. I wish each and every one of my clients was being prosecuted by Kim Fox and her minions. It'd be perfect. <laughs> uh, your takeaways from all of these documents, big picture. Horrible. It's horrifically embarrassing. There's a reason why these documents were released at 5 p.m. on a Friday afternoon. They are devastating to Kim Fox because, number one, it makes it crystal clear that a first year law student could have successfully prosecuted Jesse Smollett. And number two, they're embarrassing for her. You have the defense lawyers of Jesse Smollett telling her prosecutors what to say in court the next day. My 19 years of practicing law, I've never seen that. It's horrible for Fox. Obviously, it's horrible yeah. for Smollett. And, and that was about, that conversation was about how to explain why the case was being dropped. This is what Kim Fox's chief deputy wrote when he initially saw the draft that had been put forth by the defense attorneys. This according to the Chicago Sun-Times. Off the top of my head, this could be construed as the defendant being able to buy his way out of the case because he is a good guy. Uh, evidently, Joe Maggott's uh, feelings did not win the day. No, and it's just embarrassing. I mean, these are the prosecutors. These are the ones who are supposed to be aggressively prosecuting the case, and they're acting as glorified defense lackeys for Smollett and his lawyers. It's horrific. It's embarrassing. It's cataclysmically bad for her reputation. Okay, so where, do, where does this go from here? What, what happens with the next cases against her? Can defense attorneys like you use this against her, or does everything happen in a vacuum? Uh, you know, it happens in a vacuum, but remember, her office is also prosecuting the R. Kelly case, right? right? So if you're, if, if you're representing R. Kelly, if you're representing any one of the under, uh, other thousands of defendants in Cook County, it emboldens you to take her on. It makes you think her office is grossly incompetent, and that's never a good thing when you're talking about a prosecutor. Oh, that is not a good thing, and as you point out, even more charges now coming uh, in the past week about the R. Kelly case, so a lot of questions in terms of how that will go. We'll have you back to talk about it, sir. We have to run. We appreciate it. Anytime. Thank all, you. All the best.